Hello and welcome to my HTML tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to build a web page using HTML language. In order to do that I will need a text editor such as Notepad, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I decided to use Google Chrome browser to view our results. So I'm going to open them side by side. Unlike Java or C++, HTML is not really a programming language. It is a markup language. That's what M stands for. Markup language basically means that instead of writing a computer code line, line by line, one after another, we are actually going to define some kind of a structure. And this structure in HTML is created by using tags. An HTML tag is basically typed within the text editor program. So let's go ahead and create one of the first uh, HTML tags that we need to learn about. That is the HTML tag. And it starts with a bracket followed by the name of the tag which is HTML and it's closed with another bracket. In HTML, most of the tags that we're going to open, we need to also close. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's exactly the same thing we did when we tried to open it. And it's the same name, except here we have a forward slash. All these different HTML tags have a different function within an HTML document. A regular HTML document usually has a few more tags. For example, I'm going to use four spaces here, or actually a tab. And I'm going to define the head tag. And in the same way, we need to open it and close it. And also, I'm going to define a body tag. Open and close it. I think at this point we're ready to save the file from our notepad. Go ahead, go to save as and type in um, web page dot html. Remove the dot text that was there by default. And probably you should choose all files, not the text, all files. And go ahead and save it. Now I'm going to close Chrome browser for a while and you will see that the file got saved. Basically this is what we have just typed here. We got the same file that appeared on our desktop. And because it has a .html format, if we double click on it, it will op open again in Chrome browser. Let's do that. As you can see it's a blank page because all we have done is we added some markup tags to define the structure of our site, but we haven't really added any content anywhere. So this is why you see a blank page. That's because the markup language itself, all of these tags are invisible in the browser. And these tags are really only here to define the structure of the page, not its content. On the tab here, you will see a web page.html. And that's the file name of this file that we have just saved from Notepad. Let's go ahead and add another HTML tag. And this one is called title. And it has to go in between the two head tags. And I'm going to type it in here. And whatever text goes inside this title tag, is going to appear in the tab when you open it in your web browser. Let's try that. I'm going to say website. Let's go ahead and save that. Refresh Chrome once again. And you will see that this text here in the tab changed to whatever place here. You can actually say my website, resave it, refresh again, and you will see the text appeared here. 
this is the functionality of the title tag in HTML. It determines the text that goes into the browser's title bar. And now we're going to go ahead and add some content to the body of our site and see what happens. I'm going to use a well-known tag, HTML, for creating header text. It's called h1. h1. And again, like any other tag, we have to close it. This is my website's header. So I'm going to go and save this. Hit refresh in the browser. This digit 1 right here determines the size of the header. We could have used 2 or 3, and it goes all the way down to 6. And the sixth one is the smallest header. And if we use H1, it's going to use the, the largest possible font size. In order to create some text underneath this header, I'm going to use the paragraph tag which is just the letter P. In the same way, uh, I'm going to open it and close it. And I'm going to type some text. Let's say, welcome to my website. And I'm going to save that. Now refresh. Let's see what happens in the browser. As you can see, it uh, added the paragraph that we just typed in between those two tags. In the same way, you can continue adding more paragraphs. For example, on the next line, this is the second paragraph. And let's close the tag. Let's save. And let's see what happens in the browser. Refresh. So we just added two paragraphs. Here they are in the browser. I'm actually going to expand this view a little so you can see it better. There's a paragraph there and our header tag. So this is what we have so far. So now I'm going to show you how to use the bold tag within the paragraph tag. And what you can do in the same exact way, you can kind of wrap this word with two tags, which is just a letter B. And let's save this. I'm going to go back to Chrome browser, refresh, and as you can see, it highlighted this word and made it bold. To demonstrate how to add a line break in between uh, text within the same paragraph, let me create a new paragraph. And let's say it's a pretty long paragraph. This is a very long paragraph of text. I promise it is very long. It stretches really far. And close it. I'm going to go ahead and save it again. Open it in the browser. Refresh. And this is our really long paragraph. Let's say I want to break it down by separating this text within the same paragraph. I can use something that's called a line break tag in HTML. And it's typed in like BR and this is a special tag in comparison to all the other ones we have learned so far because it's a standalone tag it doesn't need to be closed because if you think about it well it's a line break it's going to drop this line down to, um, to the next line on the page so it doesn't really need to be closed In fact, sometimes tags like these that are standalone are called self-closing tags. And what that means is that you're still supposed to be closing them like this. Uh, you probably don't really have to, but it's better than if you do. Let's save our result and see what happens in the browser. As you can see, this line dropped and there's no spacing because it's really a separate paragraph in itself and within it we can add another line break let's go ahead and do this save and see what happens in the browser as you can see the line break tags 
the standalone self-closing tags have split this last paragraph that was really long into separate lines but they did not create a new paragraph they just went to the next line of text you can further format this text just visually so it's easier to see so you can place this line underneath this one just right after just right after the break line like this so it's just easier to see this way and in the next step I'm going to demonstrate how to add a picture to the website adding a picture is done by using IMG tag so go ahead and open it IMG HTML tags some of them have attributes and attributes are typed directly into the tag such as this src for source equals and double quotes and we're gonna close the tag because this is a self-closing tag like image it just specifies an image so it's not like you're putting an image in between two tags like it is with text it's a self-closing tag it defines its content by an attribute before I started recording this tutorial I already prepared an image in Photoshop and I'm gonna go ahead and save it as lion.jpg and I'm gonna save it to the same location where my main web page HTML file is so I'm gonna go back to it and because this file is located in the same folder on my desktop I can refer to it by its file name line jpg and I'm gonna go here and save and basically I just added the file name to the src attribute of img tag let's see what happened refresh and here's our uh, lion on the web page and one final step you probably want to add one more tag in the beginning although it's not always considered a tag but it's really nice to have at the very beginning of your HTML document you want to go like this doc type HTML and close it although it looks like a tag and it probably is it's considered like a command for the browser it lets the browser know that the document type of this page is HTML so now we can overview what we have here we started a HTML tag and closed it in between we added a head tag inside it we added a title this goes for to be shown in the title bar in the browser when somebody opens this page and we added a header this is my website header inside h1 tags then we created three paragraph tags and added a b tag to one of the words to highlight it to make it bold and then we created three line breaks just to show how it works within the same paragraph and it broke down the line then we added a picture we created an attribute we saved a picture from a um, graphics editing software it was Photoshop yours could be anything like MS Paint or any other one it doesn't really matter and after we saved this document we went to see it in the browser and it looked like this of course this website doesn't even have a layout it's just a bunch of tags um, but that's what HTML markup is it defines the structure of your web page in my next tutorials I'll go into more details on how to progress from this point and actually build a website layouts and add styling with CSS I think this is a really good start thanks for watching